Hey folks, Dave the Not So Evil, Evil Viking 13 here, returning to Vikings Expeditions to go a bit further in the story and continue our story of Gunliker Manison, who's my Viking character, leader of my father's village, who has just been betrayed by some of his clansmen on the night of my father's funeral. I've been thinking though, guys. We've been backstabbed essentially twice over my right to reign over this village. Yep, there he is, Oslifer. He has challenged me to a duel for the position of Thane of your clan. So I've been thinking, it might be time to be an actual evil Viking. I've been backstabbed twice, even though this is kind of a traditional duel, I think I'm going to take it personally. Let's discuss my options with a Strider. Okay, she is of course my mother. Well fought my child, your father would be so proud. Um, let's go with the clan is at war with itself. Was father really such a poor thing? He was always more a warrior than a leader. But he was no worse than most. It's about ambition and greed, not really about him. There'll be another fight tomorrow. You do well to make some preparations. What can I do? Okay, so most of my clan remains loyal to me. So mom claims at least, but she would. Go to Hulda in the bog and ask for her help. She is old and wise, and she has many ways to weaken a man. Um, I don't want to kill him, though. I want to win with honor. I'm going to take things personally. Okay, man, this is really tough. Like, my nature in a lot of RPG games is to kind of be a bit of a goody two-shoes, but... Like I said at the beginning of this, part two, I'm going to try and be an actual evil viking. And it's going to go against my nature here, guys. <laughs> After all, the tagline is the not-so-evil, evil viking 13. So yeah, you know what? Let's go all in for the poison. It should take the wind out of him, yes, and he would still have to respect your victory. But you don't have to stop there. The witch, uh, Sagrider, may have an idea. She is good at setting traps for the creatures of the forest. She may have a trap large enough for a man. Beyond that, uh, oh my, uh, that's a lot of consonants. Veldifer? I imagine the K is silent. It may be willing to get you some better equipment. You shouldn't go into the duel with those old weapons that Manny gave you for your training. Okay, end the feast and get some rest. Kettle says, good friend of mine, I can't believe it came to this. My other friend, Nefja, a man that bitter with sons that stupid, it was just a matter of time. Yeah, I may mop up now with that son whose brothers I killed in the duel. My friends aren't quite on board with that plan, but let's look into weapons first. Okay. He's retreated back inside, engaged in an energetic discussion with his wife. Blacksmith says, So, Erlinger finally lost control of his idiot sons, did he? Glad to see you made it out of that mess in one piece. Seems like everyone anticipated that attack, except me. Uh, it's no secret that he's been fixing to challenge your family for years, but no one expected an attack during the feast. That is just disgraceful. 
Can he help me with my duel? Ah, he's not getting involved because he's known us both since we were small children. And uh, Slifer used to help out in the smithy. I won't have either of your blood on my conscience. I don't plan to kill him. I just have to beat him to defend my seat. Such things rarely go according to plan. He crosses his arms and shakes his head. In the heat of the moment, with a sword in your hand, I won't be responsible. The decision is final. So I can try and reason with him. Um, I've got decent sense abilities here. Um, denying my request won't keep him safe. It will only put me in danger. Okay, so I just calmly explain my side of things and how my equipment is just not up to the fight and how it's already against me he does have a poor head for tactics but I will not give you steel to swing against him however I can help you stay safe here let me get you a good sturdy set of quilted armor it'll serve you better than the shirt you're wearing well that'll work he goes to the back of his shop and emerges with the shirt. If the fight goes well, you can keep it. Okay, I'll actually be grateful here. I aki at daka. Not sure what that means, but it sounds imposing and Viking-like. He says, "Just be careful out there." Now he's going to start packing up for the night. Let's check my inventory. So there's that cured armor. Let me go ahead and put that on. Also equip my shield. Next up, we're going to seek the advice of the old witch Hulda in the bog. And we can also ask the huntress Sigrider. Okay, so that's two separate people to go ask for help. Uh, ask her for help to set traps. Where is my map? There it is. Campaign map. Campaign map. Okay, so the bogs are down here, just across the river. Not too far of a walk. Let's take our Viking gun like you're here and head on down there and see what's up is that her right there why are you here oh it's the witch's apprentice She's tending to the candles around an old tree. I'm here to see Hulda. I'll be respectful. Looking for help, after all. Are you sure? Today isn't one of her good days, she says. I ask her what she means, and she says some days she's all there. Other days her mind travels. No telling where she went today, but it must be far away. Has she been this way for long? Long enough that I'm used to it, it's gotten worse lately, though. That must have been hard on you. The young witch shrugs. I'll ask her to come out. I mean, an evil Viking can be uh, artificially sympathetic, right? You gotta play nice to get people to help me. We've got visitors, Hulda. It's the Thane. Come out and say hello. Okay. Let's see if she's lucid at all. The old witch emerges from her burrow, supported by her brooding apprentice. Her knees shake with each slow step. 
and she wears an expression of deep concern. What are you doing home so soon? Did you decide not to go? What are you talking about? I made an offering to Thor when you left, and that same night he struck the Big Willow with a thunderbolt. He brought you back safely, just as he showed me that he would. The assistant speaks to her softly. This is Gunliker, the son of Manny and Strider. Do you remember him? The old witch blinks again. She shakes her head annoyed. Of course I remember. Don't give me that look like I wouldn't remember. She asks, Why are you here? With an impatient bark to her voice. I need help with a duel. I told you that you would need the mixture, but you wouldn't take it, she says. I wonder who she's thinking of. So the witch hushes her assistant. For a long moment, nobody speaks. Hulda's eyes bore into you long past the point of discomfort, and then they seem to glaze over. I need you to make me a poison. Of course I'll help you. I always do what I can for you. Her eyes wander aimlessly. Okay, she's repeating the story about the thunderbolt and the willow tree now. And she doesn't believe her assistant that she already said that. Her assistant says, you're not well today, your memory. The old hag screams, so spittle flies from her mouth. Get out of here, go. I don't want to see you here again. Don't ever come back here, you lying goat. That's the third time today she's banished me forever. She'll call me back when she wets her bed again. <laughs> Let's just stay on track. I need help with a duel. Just tell me what you want so I can be rid of you. I need a poison to weaken a man in combat. I offered you a poison. You wouldn't take it. It's gone now. It doesn't keep that long. I have to make a new batch. It'll take at least two days. I think we're done here. I hope you get well. I'll be the line, Viking. She shouts after me. There's nothing wrong with me. It's just that evil girl. Fine, get out of here. And don't you ever come back. So let's talk to the witch's apprentice and see if they have any actual poisons. I'm sorry you had to see her this way. She's just having a bad day. <laughs> This is an option right here. That's just great. I have half the clan against me and the witch has lost her mind. I'll be falsely sympathetic here. Uh, it's kind of you to say that, she says, but I grieve for Hulda. She is a wise woman with a lifetime of knowledge of the plants, the gods, and the spirits. I hate to see her mind unravel like this. I know she could have helped you with your duel. How much of that knowledge has she passed on to you? Uh, she's taught me how to make pain go away or how to cause it. It's a powder. If he ingests this in the morning, he'll barely be able to stand at noon. How will I get him to eat it? Tell him it'll make him stronger and ensure the gods will favor him tomorrow. Won't that make him seek revenge against you? If you win, you can protect me. Please make sure you win. Okay. So, I'm not going to ask the Huntress for help. Seeing I've gotten the poison instead. I'll go ahead and make a save game here. Let's go on back to the village and rest up for our fight tomorrow.
Well, the feast appears to be continuing. The king's, um, not assistant, but messenger suggests that I bring my clan in line. Well, that's the idea. Screw you all, I'm going to bed. This has been a terrible feast. Okay. We should be all set for the duel at this point. Okay, we've come to an island for the duel with my friends. And they've put down stakes to define the arena. He wants to fight if my opponent does not show so we don't waste the arena. Defja smirks, are you sure you want to fight me again? Remember what happened last time. <laughs> he says, right. What I meant is, you and Gunliker should fight, and I will sit over beneath that tree and watch while I finish the rest of the mead from last night. If he doesn't show up, I will have to exile him from the clan. That would be a good resolution for this whole mess, but he'll be here. The man has the stubbornness of a mule. My challenger arrives a short time later with his companions from the feast last night. Now we have to defeat him in single combat. Here we go, guys. He looks dizzy and weary. He has dark rings under his eyes. He doesn't even look at you as he walks into the ring. His voice is a hoarse bark. I'm here to fight you as agreed. Are you ready? Um, Nefji volunteers to fight in my place. Your offer humbles me, but this is my fight. She steps back. I understand. Good luck. As the challenger in this dispute, it falls on you to recite the rules of the duel. She says to my opponent. I, Aslifer, son of Grimvalder, Grimvarder, have challenged Gunliker, son of Manny, for the right to rule our clan. The winner shall sit as Thane of Skurn and reside in its longhouse. He shall receive no other award beyond this. Should he survive, he who is defeated may swear fealty to the winner or his life is forfeit. If either of us falls in the duel, their body will be buried here. All weapons are permitted. The duel will end when either warrior is dead or incapable of continuing to fight. As the challenge, the first strike is yours to make. Um, let's go for a cripple attack. Crippled. Awesome. We can do a ranging shot, which is a free action. Just spot some there. Let's um. Oh, we can toggle non-lethal attack. Okay. Let's end our turn here. So I'm harried. 
Let's go for um, two ranged attacks, quick shot. Whoop. Turn that off right there. I'm going to go for lethal attacks until his health gets low. Quick shot. Oh no. Let's toggle non lethal attack. Because even as an evil Viking in my playthrough, while I'm still getting control of my clan, I don't want to murder someone who could be a good ally. It's just a strategic decision here, guys. Second quick shot. And he is incapacitated. And we have victory. God, I swapped to non lethal. He says you've been keeping your skills sharp even without your father around to train you. He trained us both. What do you even have against him? He was a great warrior, and like everyone else, I respected him for that. But if a king, if the king should raise the Laid Anger Army tomorrow, how many able-bodied warriors could our clan muster? A dozen? Half the women in the clan are widows, and Manny's foolhardy expeditions are the cause of it. Half the women in the clan are widows, and Manny's foolhardy expeditions are the cause of it. He bangs his weapon against his second shield and gives you a somber nod. Okay, so I guess the, uh, the fight's still going on. Do a quick shot. Toggle non-lethal attacks. I think when it's not highlighted, it's non-lethal. I'm not sure, actually. Two quick shots. Down he goes. Hopefully I haven't killed him. His second shield crumbles off the grip. Dismayed, he heads back to the boat to fetch his last shield. You are nearly as good as Manny. If you should win this, I hope you'll be a better thing. I hope to serve with you as my housecarl. Huscarl. He nods without hesitation. My honor bids me to, and if I should win, you may serve as mine. Tell me, how do you plan to govern us? Um, oh boy. You know what, guys? We're going to Britain. My father spoke of a great kingdom across the sea. I'll find this kingdom, as he did, but where he failed, I'll succeed. He says that I was right to worry. <laughs> but enough talk, let's finish this. Okay. I'm going to try and cripple him while he's very far away. He blocked that. Checking for any traps. And moving back just a bit. Any of my turn. go for the double quick shot now. Attack of opportunity. And two of them. Man, he is taking a lot of arrows here. Your challenger struggles to get back on his feet, but he leaves his weapon in the mud. In the end, he settles for just sitting on his knees before you, his head hung in a signal of defeat. 
You got Roskva to poison me, didn't you? This disease was all your doing. Though I would prefer to bow to a man who could defeat me fairly, I am at your mercy. If you'll accept my surrender, I pledge myself to your service. So I can accept his pledge, banish him, or execute him. Again, even as an evil viking, I need to build some allies here in the beginning. I will accept his pledge. Some unusual mixture of sadness and relief washes over him. He holds your gaze for a long moment and then seems to get back some of the energy the duel took from him, and he stands. You show me great honor. I hope my challenge won't linger in the air between us. I want you to know that you can depend on me from now on, fully. Cattell extends his hand towards Oslifer, who shakes it hesitantly. Glad to have you with us, you big lug. You put up a good fight. I'll be glad to have you on our side. Nefja reluctantly shakes his hand as well. You were a fool to challenge Gunliker, but I hope you learned your lesson now. I'm glad to have you with us. We can now return back to the homestead. What do you guys have to say? Thank you for accepting his pledge. He was a fool to challenge you, but didn't deserve uh, to be banished or killed. Clan power increased. That's what I was looking for. He's a strong warrior, and he will serve you well. Now let's see. I've got him in my party. That's nice. How does all this work? Don't even know, guys. I'll dig into the upgrade tree later on. I gotta figure out how all that works. It's like playing a total war game all of a sudden. For now, let's head back to the village. We have returned victorious. What's next? We have to do something about Erlinger Thor Gisselson. As long as he lives, his family poses a threat. He's the guy that ambushed me on the night of the feast. We'll head there immediately. Okay. We can then leave the village later on and uh, head out onto the campaign map. Oh, we're going to his farm. So we are traveling onto the campaign map. Off we go, guys. I love this music. It's fantastic. Oh, cool, it's a fabric map. Okay, who should go with me? All three of you. I think, guys, I'm going to kill him. His betrayal was underhanded. And I just don't trust him. So no one's noticed our arrival. The farmhands are still working the farms. There are more thralls here than I remembered. They're poorly armed, but they'll defend their master if it comes to that. A surprise attack would give us a strong advantage. We might circle around to the back and set fire to the house. He deserves a chance to die with honor. No! He betrayed my feast. I'm going to burn down his longhouse around him. Smoke him out right into our ambush. I like it. He did bring it on himself. Yes, indeed. The Thane is here. An old man stands in front of his farmhouse. You know him, but not well. 
His family has always stuck to the outskirts, never happy to call your father their thane. In his youth, he built this house by himself. Now he is gray of hair, and his skin is lined with wrinkles. Yet he stands proud as the patriarch of his homestead. He begins to speak, and immediately breaks into a fit of deep throaty coughs. His voice is a rasp with an undertone of fear. My sons were fools to attack you, and cowards to do so during the feast. Thank you for allowing my line to continue. If you guys watched part one, I killed a number of the brothers, but spared his last son. Hmm. I can choose a number of dialogue options. I can cast him as a traitor to the clan. We're here to kill you and your last son, and the women are going to be exiled. Or I can try a sneak attack. There's no witnesses here besides my party, but I don't want to put them off too quickly. So I think I'll do the Thanely thing and declare what I'm going to do and not just surprise attack him. You should know. I expected as much. I won't cast myself willingly on your sword. If we are to die today, we are to die fighting. Draw your weapon. So we've got Almar behind me. He's a untrained civilian. Let's do... Okay, here's the plan, guys. I'm going to focus on the younger son with cripple attacks. Because he has no shield. And then... Nefja. Go for the extended attack on the old man from three tiles away. Okay, block absorbed. My new party member, Oslifer. Let's just go. Um. Okay, I guess I can't quite attack him. I'll get up front then. It's one tile away. And then Kettle. I go for Quick Shot. There's one. Try to kill this guy with two hits immediately. Perfect. Down goes the Loyal Servant. And we do have lethal attacks ready to go. Let's see what he's up to. Hey, you were uh, stunned, I thought. I'm sorry. I can't go on. Here comes the farmer. This is quite the melee here. Okay, let's go right in for Atar, the younger son, he has no shield. I'm going to go for double quick shot. Let's get that old man down. Down he goes. Let's just go for a full damage shot, try and kill Atar with a single hit. Nice. Let's see, here's that leave. We've got, I think a member of the family here, a wife perhaps? And then some farmers to mop up. 
How did that guy even fall down? Just by himself? Ouch. Oh, he slipped. They're sliding on the ice. That's hilarious. You guys are terrible. Is she cowering? Yep, she's taking cover. Let's go for a quick shot. <laughs> Missed. Uh, Nefja, go ahead and take him out. Oh, or her out. That was a brutal hit. And then, um, Kettle. Do a full power shot on our friend on the ice over here. Ouch. Go ahead and just finish him off. Who's left up here? Glad I have plenty of archer characters because these guys are going to be running around a bunch. Let's get him. Extend attack. Nice. I'll go for the quick shot. There he goes. That's what I was hoping for. My second shot. She's in cover. No line of sight to target. Okay. How do I cancel the quick shot? There we go. Can't move. He can move though. Let's charge in. So he actually does have line of sight, I think. Zero percent chance to hit. I'll have you move up too. Behind the wall. Just you left. Uh, she's gonna run like crazy, isn't she? Try to head her off the pass. <laughs> Let's see if he can actually reach her. Nope, not quite. If only he could vault the wall. Oh yeah, you are surrounded now. Do I have the shot? Not quite yet. Now I do though. And let's finish her off. a big arrow and victory once again no new injuries not bad the fight is over and the silence is deafening Erlinger is still alive and he struggles to raise himself from the ground you win, son of Manny. Go on then, finish me off. My father should have done this years ago. Kill him. Ooh, Game of Thrones style there. Stubborn old fool. It had to be done. Erlinger's death ties up a very old, loose end. He's been sowing discord among the clan for years. Things will be easier now that he's dead.
Oslifer snaps angrily. Please don't talk about him that way. So his wife walks up, back straight, voice strong, and asks, You got your justice. What shall become of the girls and I? No loose ends. You have a week to prepare. You are exiled. She holds your gaze for a long moment. Then she simply nods, turns around, and walks back to break the news to her daughter and her daughter-in-law. Now I have to decide who will take over the farm. Let his corpse cool before we start bickering over his property. I want to look around before we leave. Which means I want to loot. Nothing really? Got rations. They're not perishable. Nice. Uh, got some loot. A hoe. Got some grease. Anybody else have some loot? Got a saw. Eh, I'll take it. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today. We've tied up some loose ends and won our duel, even if it was in a evil viking underhanded way. Again, if you guys would like to see more of Gunlikers' story, let me know, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.